Hi everyone, this is Team Gman and I'm Wai Hong. I'll be demoing to you Gmate version 1.1. At first glance, you probably noticed that the UI has been upgraded. The green monster has finally invaded everywhere. In the past, if you get too deep into our one of our menus, you probably won't know where you are because this is what you see and you don't know which module you're at. Now we've added breadcrumbs so you know which module you're actually at. In this case, EE4001. And uh, let's say if you get too deep into uh, one of the menu and you want to get back to home screen to access other features quick, there's a convenient button for you to bring you back to the home screen. In version 1.0, we've already have this special feature in our IVLE events, but unfortunately, we forgot to demo that. Okay, so let's say there's an event I'm interested in. There's an IVLE event and... Uh, I want to save it to my native calendar. In my case, it will be the Google Calendar. Oh. Okay, I probably need to detect the time myself because in this case, I didn't manage to detect the time well. But the information of and the venue has been copied. So I can just uh, quickly, oh, I'll just remove the reminder, add it to my calendar. Look, event created. That's, uh, we think that that will be a very convenient feature to uh, people who actually use all this Google Calendar and stuff. Okay, we have a new feature in our map, but I thought I'll just demo everything again since uh, it's convenient anyway. Haha. <laughs> okay, we have layer overlays. Let's try um, this. Let's see what happens. Wow, that's a lot of uh, stuff. Let's try... Oh, that's a OCBC ATM near LT9. I didn't know that actually. Oh well. Mm, ah, I just accidentally did that. But if you click on the bus stop, you get the bus services serving that line. I'm not sure if you can see that, but in this case, I see A2 and B. Okay, we have co common locations in school as well. You can just search and know where it is. Um, let's try something like somewhere I kind of always go. Send. Okay, why not just try one of them? Incubation Center at the Faculty of Engineering and Search. There, I know where it is right now. Okay, and uh, new in this version is the directions. I can... If the place is already in our database, then we can do it very fast. Okay, I'll just demo this to uh, Prince George's Park Residence by public transport okay that's our it works <laughs> that's our directions right there and uh, let's say if the places the place isn't actually in in our database we'll try to make our best guess to send to google directions api let's try um what's a usual use case i always want to go somewhere from central library let's say Vivo City, yeah, that's that's a place where a lot of NUS guys hang out, right? <laughs> yeah, and uh, there we get the. Oops, my hand is getting kind of tired right now. It's shaking. No, so I better finish this quick. Okay, and uh, okay. How about a place? Both places aren't actually in our database. Let's say after going vivo for shopping, I want to go uh, East Coast Park. Nah, no, 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 no. Okay. For barbecue, maybe. Yep. Park. And let's see if it works. Okay, it works. Yay! We hope that this will be useful to students, especially new students in finding their way around. We have, uh, you can set where you want to center the map when we s you start the map. I'm mostly spending my time in Cambridge campus, so, uh, so I guess I'll center my map on Cambridge campus instead of the other campus. But just to demo them, maybe switch on the satellite view as well. Okay, let's start my map. Yep, I'll be centered in the Uttram campus. Okay, we have, um, Upgraded the UI for the friend feature. Um, it, the last time there was privacy concern because everyone could add a friend and view everyone 
with everyone else's location but now you start as an anonymous browsing the location of people who choose to be non-anonymous so I can see that there's an unknown here okay and there's an anonymous here using our app right now we've decided to check in actually actually that's me but it's fine soon we'll have more people haha <laughs> privacy um can use my IVLE name okay need to refresh this now I'm using it as uh, as myself I'm Wai Hong and um I suppose one of this check-in is mine uh yep that's me all right we think that this feature will be very useful like for friends to look for friend for lunch like if you see a lot of uh, people checking in at a, at a canteen then maybe you want to head to that canteen as well meet up and stuff social feature eh and um you also can choose a nickname we plan we are planning to upgrade this feature very soon to um to have like you google circles like functionality so that you can only see those friends that have approved you and only certain group of friends you want to appear to I guess mm, I can check my friend list in my current uh, keep in mind for now this is global so okay I'm almost done uh, emergency contact numbers is um, sometimes we need all this number but most of the time we don't remember them and we we are thinking it will be useful in times of uh, of uh, emergency. Let's say I want to call campus security right now. I can just tap call. And you probably notice that we've uh, removed the game feature. We've decided to focus more on uh, making other feature work well and cool. And before we get back to that, because probably it has been too ambitious of us. Um, maybe you want to know who we are. We are actually Team g -Man. We are actually participating in NUS IVLE I Create Mobile Challenge. And part of the judging is actually popularity of our app. We think that it would be nice of you if you can tell your friends about us. And uh, if you like our app, maybe you can send us feedback and... Okay. Yep. Or um, you could go to our page and post... Uh, Maybe encouragement or uh, maybe <laughs> bug report. I don't know. We should be uh, replying as soon as we can. And uh, please vote for us. Your vote counts. Um, if you if done correctly, you should have received a confirmation SMS. Usually it takes a few seconds. But if you don't receive one, then maybe you should do it again. <laughs> yeah, we've really been working very hard for this. Anyway, I realize it's uh, very hard to hold the camera and do a demo and talk all at the same time. There, our confirmation SMS. Yep, this is um, Wai Hong signing off from uh, Team G Man. Uh, we hope that you vote for us. Thank you so much. <laughs>